Welcome, citizens of East London. This is the first stop of Still Here, an audio exhibition across Hackney. Over eight consecutive stops, learning disabled and autistic artists from Black Cab Company will take you on a walking tour that will enable you, many listeners, to access sounds and experiences in Hackney, unlike any you have ever heard before. No hackneyed clichés here, thank you very much. At each stop, you'll be able to scan the code to access the sounds. You'll also find captions on your phone screen, should you need them. We'll help you find the stops with arrows and maps, but you'll need to keep your wits and bags about you. You ready? Let's begin. Stop 1. Hackney Town Hall. Look about, gentle listeners, to the scene that surrounds you. On either side of the main road, culture and politics face each other in a staring match. Across the road is the cinema, which is darker than usual these days. Movie superheroes aren't the only ones wearing masks in there at the moment. Across the square is Hackney Town Hall, a quietly imposing, elegant façade that is the civic centre of Hackney. The virus has chased away the carnival this year, so an air of sadness hangs over this square, but also resilience. Hackney will survive, and the carnival will return. Is it quiet on the street today? But is it really that quiet? Listen. Hackney Carnival. Fun-filled, vibrant, colorful adrenaline. Come in, come in to the wonders of the world. Roots, rhythms, reminiscent of your childhood. It's good to be yourself. Be good to yourself. Myself, I'm the life of the party. I'm a ball of energy, a sock of electricity. Watch me unleashing the fun here every year. Cause here's the thing, people don't always listen to us, but at Carnival, everyone listens. Listen. It's quiet on the street today. We've been indoors for too long. We're feeling trapped. Carnival brings us together. But now we're disconnected. Expected to see our friends, but stayed home instead. No hugs or high fives. No fist bumps. Stuck with our thoughts, waiting to be free. But carnival will come again. Our voices will be heard again. Wait and see. Onwards, gentle listeners. If you're continuing the journey with us, head down Mayor Street and take a right on Ellingfort Road. Then keep an eye out for stop two. We are headed for E5 Bakehouse on Mentmore Terrace. Follow your nose for the smell of fresh bread and cakes. You might want to grab a sweet treat while you listen to the next stop. See you there. This is Stop 2, E5 Bakehouse, London Fields Station. Now, gentle listeners, we arrive onwards towards London Fields Station. From here you can travel south into Bethnal Green or even further into the depths of London's grand metropolis. 
Or if you feel like a break from London's urban insanity, you can take a train north to Cambridge and take in the sights there. Train lines run through London like veins and arteries. It is so easy to miss them or take them for granted. Stand under the tunnel and listen just for a moment to the wheeling, juddering passing of the trains overhead. My journey is a roller coaster. I don't think about it much in the moment. A drab staircase in a lazy station, walls plastered with posters for theatre shows, and London's finest activities, friendly faces at rush hour. People, crowds, everywhere. Will they make me late? Will I get there on time? I'm always early to everywhere. Time is very important to me. The calendar in my head crossing off each station as I go by. My journey is an adventure. The smell of the coffee. The crisp air in the morning mixed with pollution. Screeching tracks. The music I listen to is cut off by a tunnel. I'm forced back into reality. I keep alert. Don't get on the wrong train. Don't get caught up in my imagination. I do have a tendency to daydream. People loudly talking, airing their laundry to the whole train. I don't sit next to anyone unless I have to. I wonder if these people are like me, or are they different? Do they have the same attitudes to life as me? Who are they? We all have the same motivation though, to get there, to travel there. Uh, excuse me, I'm getting off. Wandering through the maze of the station, flashes of red, blue and white. Getting out of the station is a sense of relief. I've made it to Hackney. My final destination is only a few strides away. I have a love-hate relationship with the train. Even when the trains aren't running, there is still an exciting buzz. I miss my journey, even now that the friendly faces are covered in masks. Lockdown stopped us still. A breath of fresh air coming up at stop three, gentle listeners. Continue along Mentmore Terrace until you reach the station itself, then turn right. I'll meet you in London Fields. This is Stop 3, London Fields. London Fields, gentle listeners. Sounds like a contradiction in terms, doesn't it? Fields? In London? But in this great city of ours, for all its stern-looking buildings and asphyxiating traffic odours, this city is awash in green spaces, parks and promenades, of which this is only one. The play areas were cordoned off and abandoned during lockdown, but the trees and the grass remained. Walk on to the grass, find a space, and take in the fresh, liberated air. I found London Fields a place of solace, a place of comfort. I could find my own spot, choose my own bit of land, buy a tree, preferably. I could go there with friends and just chat if I wanted to. I could sit there by myself with an audio book if I wanted to. I could just sit and just watch the world go by if I wanted to. Well, that was until the 23rd of March 2020. That's when lockdown happened. That's when everything changed for me and millions of others. 
For some people, everything stopped. For others, they continued to go to work. The day after lockdown, London Fields, my special place, had become everybody's special place. As the city centre emptied, it seemed like everybody just converged on London Fields. The place I once went to for just that moment of peace and quiet had now gone and I retreated to my home. I was lucky in one respect. I didn't consider myself lucky at the time, but I had to go to work and that meant I had to travel into the city. A place which was once full of people, so incredibly noisy, dirty, was now quiet, peaceful. I could actually hear birds. I could actually breathe. There wasn't that smell of diesel, petrol, or the smell of fast food. The streets were empty. I remember standing in the middle of the main road outside Liverpool Street Station and taking a photo. It was amazing. There was nobody there. There were no cars. It looked like a film set waiting for someone to shout, action. And this is when I knew my world had truly been turned upside down. I no longer considered the park a place of solace, a place of comfort, somewhere I could just think, somewhere I could just reflect, somewhere I could just be myself if I wanted to. It was now the city. There was nobody there. It was now the place I could sit and I could just think. It was now the place I could just sit and reflect. It was now the place I could find solace in. As I walked through the towers, these great big silver towers which were now empty, I realised that the park now belonged to other people and the city belonged to me. We are heading to stop four next, gentle listeners, on Eleanor Road. You'll take a right and walk past the play area to the edge of the park, then cross the road. But take your time. Why not grab a coffee from the Lido Cafe? Or a pint from the pub on the park and take a breath before we continue? Be still here. That's the point, after all. This is stop four. Eleanor Road phone box. Keep your eyes about you, gentle listeners. Be vigilant and alert. We are in Hackney, after all. Before you is a quiet, ordinary corner of the borough. A tarmac road. A phone box stood on faded grey paved stones. On either side, there are tower blocks with windows and balconies that jut out from the bricks. A tower block is like a filing cabinet where every numbered file is marked confidential. But it is easy to forget that our regular routines have a slight habit of dulling our senses, to the point where it is easy to dismiss and take for granted the simplest yet most important things. Take this phone box, for instance. Hard to believe these things are still around, but not everyone can afford a mobile phone contract, let alone internet access. The void of lockdown has left people in their homes without contact with the outside world. Like the people who dwell in the tower blocks around us and might not be able to get about. So they remain at home, while friends and neighbours via distant means call on them to offer help and friendship. Hello 
Tom speaking. How may I help you? Hi, Tom. It's Adam from Access All Areas calling. Hello, Adam. I'm oh, so good to hear your voice, Tom. It's good to hear your lovely voice too. I just wanted to get in touch with you to see how you are doing. Because, as you are aware, we've sadly had to cancel all Black Cab sessions for the rest of the term. And we've been ordered by the government to go into lockdown and stay at home. So, how are you doing? Is there anything you want to speak about? I'm sad that we can't go back to Sutton House. And I'm also sad that um, I can't see everybody but any of my friends. And also very sad that I can't do Hayley's Tai Chi or... Harvey's or going bananas. I know. So, what have you been doing this week? Uh, nothing much. Spending time with my family and not going out. What's it like at home? I've been playing games and watching TV. What have you been watching on TV? I've been watching loads of Disney films and the new. Great. Well, I just want you to know, Tom, that even though we've sadly had to cancel everything, we are still going to be working from our homes to support you and everyone else in Black Cab. We're going to have regular check-in phone calls with everyone in Black Cab once a week. Hooray! We're going to be creating some support packages for everyone in Black Cab. And in these support packages, there will be a list of top tips on how to try and cope with the lockdown. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? No, I am fine, thank you. OK, well, if you need anything, Tom, feel free to give us a call. Okie dokie, OK. Great, well, I'll say goodbye for now and um, I'll be in touch soon. Bye, Tom. Bye! Hi Tom, it's Adam from Access All Areas calling. Hello Adam. How have you been this week? I'm feeling fine, it's nice to hear your voice on the phone. Brilliant. Well it's great that you're taking some time off Zoom and going out, getting some fresh air and meeting people in person. Keep it up Tom. Is there anything else you want to talk to me about Tom? I'm feeling really happy that I'm checking in with you on the phone Adam. Well it's great to speak to you too Tom. We'll phone you next week to see how you're getting on. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Bye for now, Tom. Bye. Onwards, gentle listeners. If you're joining us for the rest of the journey, from here you're heading down Horton Road. Then take a right onto Wilton Way to the streets behind the town hall. It might not look like much, but something rather magical is hiding at Stop Five. This is Stop 5, Hackney Empire Stage Door. Now, gentle listeners, we find ourselves in a back alley, a car park. Like most other car parks, it is bland, uninviting and visibly congested. There is grime upon the beige bricks and chipped paint on the signs that mark the road. But look more closely. We have arrived at the stage door of the famous Hackney Empire. Oh yes, we have. A theatre that has no shows on, or is dark, as the saying goes, is a most terrifying, joyless thing. Live performances are unlikely to restart here for some time. So while we are here, gentle listeners, let's take a moment to remember a time when we were at the theatre. The smell of ice cream, the excited bustle of patrons finding their way to their seats, a burst of music from the orchestra pit, lights going down, the curtain going up. Something magical is about to begin. OK, Black Cab! Let's all gather round in a circle, please. Excellent. Hi, Black Cab. It's so good to see you again. Hello. Okay, everyone. Let's do a quick name and action game. Off we go. 
Scene 1. Pat and Busy. People rushing through the doors. The smell of old carpet. Perfume and fruits. It's loud and hot. There are people talking. Bells are winning. All of us together waiting for the show to begin. <laughs> Scene 2. The curtain rises. Powerful sound. Loud voices. Drums. It's magical. <laughs> Old-fashioned where seats sit empty, dusty and silent. It's so sad. I don't really like cinemas. I like business better. <laughs> you get involved more, I think. Insufferable. Echoes and no one goes in. Insufferable. Empty. It's a challenge. Um, do you miss it? I don't know if I'm going to get back up face to face. Making other people happy and making them join, enjoying themselves when in the theatre. And if you're not enjoying yourself, the audience not enjoying themselves. Sometimes it just helps with confidence and um, trying to get make yourself clearer that you want to say and maybe more louder yeah, I think that's the three things and um, hang around with co-mates Insufferable When will the live arts return? We have to wait and see We have to make it happen We are missing live theatre well, we just have to le learn how to learn a new way of living because we have to live it. We have to live with it. Scene three. When we open again, there's more diversity. There are more disabled people on stage. Theatre is for everyone. The stage is ours. We appreciate it like never before. Curtain pull, we take a bow. Back to reality now, dear listeners, and into the very lively hub of Hackney Central. Walk down Sylvester Path, stopping at the old ship for a drink or a bite to eat if you like, then find your way back to Mayor Street and turn left. We are headed for St John's Churchyard next. You'll know it by the imposing 17th century tower opposite McDonald's and Primark. Hackney loves to mix its old with its new after all. Head into the churchyard and we'll meet you at stop six. This is Stop 6, St John's Churchyard. Hackney Central. The high streets are wash with the frantic hustle and bustle of human traffic. The overground trains ease in and out of the station. Pubs, clothes shops and off-licenses line the paved road, strewn with litter and filled with the competing smells of jerk chicken, Big Macs and decaf soya flat whites. We've moved away from all that now, gentle listeners. Take a breath. Take a seat on the park benches around you. The shadow of the tower that falls across the churchyard reminds us that we are in the presence of a higher power. Something bigger than ourselves. The generations of headstones around us remind us not just of sad goodbyes, but of history, legacy, and of something altogether more spiritual. For Hackney is a place much like, yet unlike, any other. 
the air we breathe has unknowable secrets, and not everything is as it seems. As the sound of the city fades, and the breeze slows our pace, let us reflect on this for a moment. Take off your headphones if you like. Engage in a spot of people watching, and know that you are not alone here. You're in the presence of something powerful and strange. When you're ready, gentle listeners, continue through the churchyard towards Homerton High Street, where you'll find Stop 7. This is Stop 7, the City Academy. The modern space that you see before you now, gentle listeners, is the face of the future. A sturdy structure wrought in concrete, glass and steel. Even with the trees and gated spaces, the building, with its dozens of blue windows dotting the facade, looks like a giant computer chip. The iron frames around the windows are the network relays for the data that passes through the rooms and corridors. This is City Academy, a place of both knowledge and learning. In times of lockdown, the students have been studying at home, but in so doing have missed the glorious frenzy of a school environment. The chatter of friends, the sounds of footballs being kicked and bounced off walls at break time, the school library with the smell of old books and the sound of pencils scribbling on paper, and of course... The ever-present school bell, ringing in a new period in the life of Hackney. Listen up, everyone. You've got some work to do. These are the lessons from the lockdown. Lesson one. There are lots of different ways to learn. It doesn't always have to be face-to-face. Lesson two. We are so lucky to have our friends and family. Lesson three. Be grateful for what you have. Be thankful for what you have. Lesson four. When you're feeling stressed, you go out for a run. They make you feel happy and calm. Lesson five. You may not understand why this is all happening. You may feel frustrated. Be patient, you will get used to it. Lesson 6 You can go for a bike ride because you you can have your music out loud and the roads are nice and quiet. Lesson 7 Technology is amazing. We have so many useful things like Zoom, Instagram and Amazon. Imagine what lockdown would be like if we didn't have it. We are very lucky, really. Lesson 8 Make sure there's someone in the house to help you to go on Zoom. Lesson 9 Working from home can have its advantages. You can take a break whenever you want. You can stop for lunch or to read a book. You can do things in your own time. Lesson 9 10. I love lockdown because you can do many things what you like to do and you can go for a bike ride, you can do whatever you want. There is loads you can do to keep yourself busy. You could always find things to do. Just use your imagination. You could read a book, draw, make a paper aeroplane, anything. Your imagination is bigger than you think. Right, kids, time to go. Come along, dear listeners, to our final stop on this tour. Walk under the blue arch and continue straight along until you reach Homerton Hospital. Stop 8. This is Stop 8, Homerton Hospital. And for our last stop, gentle listeners, 
we arrive at the front lines in the war against the virus that has blighted our lives and forced so many of us into hiding. But there is no hiding place here at Homerton Hospital, where everyone from the doctors to the cleaners take the fight to COVID-19. Make no mistake, gentle listeners, these warriors fight against the odds, low funding, long hours, and an endless influx of patients. They are restless, they are relentless, and they will prevail. And when they do, we will thank them as we emerge from our cocoons into our new home. It feels like we're a long way from the hop-up of Hackney Central, doesn't it? Out of the global pandemic, we have witnessed some of the strengths and resilience of some of our NHS workers from up and down the country facing the most formidable challenge yet, dedicating their services, putting their bodies on the line, and selfishly sacrificing their own lives to fighting the virus. We have lost family members, doctors, and nurses along the way. We come together in their grief to support, to comfort, and to connect. We now have to adapt to a new normal after spending weeks at home, staring out the window on a continuous loop, unable to be with our loved ones. This new normal feels scary for some disabled people we were on our way up to first class, taking our place in society and finally being listened to. And now it felt like we're going back to the very start. We've been in our homes for so long. Here's a question for you. Are we still in people's minds? But out of this, there has been a change. We have seen the outpouring of help from local heroes. We have seen Captain Tom Moore raising money for the NHS, starting a ripple effect of generosity. We have seen neighbors shopping for people who were shielding. We've seen people making meals for key workers. We have seen people offering their time and effort to lend a hand to those who really need it. The trademark of all of this is the rainbow, a message of hope that has spread worldwide. Different parts connect and interlock. Every color is needed. The rainbow is hope, radiating throughout the clouds in our lives. Thank you for listening to Still Here, a production by Access All Areas Black Cap Company. As we bring our tour to a close, gentle listeners, turn right and you will see the twin pillars that mark the entrance to Chat's Palace. This lovely building with its huge door and crossed out windows is a community and art centre. A lot happens here, including many of our Black Cab Company rehearsals. Beyond Chats Palace, to the left is Chatsworth Road, where you'll find shops, restaurants and places to sit and watch the world go by some more, if we've whet your appetite. Have a cuppa and relax, as you take in what you have experienced with us today. If you are heading home, you can catch a bus here, head back to Hackney Central or walk to nearby Homerton Station. Have a safe journey. Thanks for joining us. 
To find out more information about Black Cab Company and Access All Areas, please visit www.accessallareastheatre.org.